most of my blogs are about SharePoint Online and uh, of course the latest Office which uh, which is brought to us by Office 365 or Microsoft 365. I'm sure you, that uh, if you're not on the latest version of Office, you must be having serious FOMO with all the cool stuff that I'm sharing. One of these really cool things is called Zoom and uh, I've written about it recently sh to show you how you can change the interaction of your slides by using um, section Zoom etc. But let me show you how you can recreate Zoom without actually having Zoom. Now, um, if I look at the slide deck, I've got a, ma a, a master image or a plain um, image. And then I've got three sections that I want to talk about in this uh, slide deck. If I then go to the different sections, that's where the text is about those sections. Zoom allows me to click through to these and it keeps on navigating back to it. But how would I get that right without having Zoom? So what I've done is that on each of these icons, I've right clicked and add a link. So for now, I'm going to just go edit link and I've said, I want you to go to a place to the document. So the specific icon must go to that yellow slide. This icon must go for me to the green slide and this icon must go for me to the blue slide. Then what I've done on each of those, I've added a little home button. And this home button is always going to take me back to the home slide. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. There you can see my presentation. So here's my, uh, my landing page and I'm going to go, how's it guys? So for digital literacy, these are the three main focus areas. Very, very important for me. Let's look at the first most important area, which is yellow, of course. I'm going to click on that and go yellow consists of three of these steps. Very, very important. This is subject A. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to click on the home button and say, let's take a look at the green area. Blah, 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 blah. Home button. Oh, let's take a look at the blue area. And there's all the important things about the blue area. So that's a kind of a cool way how we can replicate um, Zoom without actually having Zoom. If you're not sure what Zoom is, go and check out my blog. I've definitely shared some cool videos and blogs about it. Um, but, uh, but there you go. Don't have to have FOMO much if you don't have Zoom in your PowerPoint. Zoom, by the way, sits right there. If I go to insert, you'll see that there's Zoom right there. If you don't see that in your PowerPoint, then this is a really cool way for you to replicate having that functionality in your PowerPoint. Chat soon, and I really hope that you'll be on the latest office soon because you definitely are missing out on a lot of cool stuff.